It usually takes a week to carbonate beer in a keg. I'm gonna show you how to do it in 30 minutes. There is the beer, cold crashed it. As you can see, everything's pretty well dropped out. So it's super cold. Uh, these are the ideal conditions to um, quick carb under. The quarter liquid is, the easier it is to carbonate. So I have my keg ready here. Dump the sanitizer out. Cleaned it with PBW, sanitized it with Star Sand. Guy. Hook the gas up and I'll just let it vent. All right, I purged it a few times. Next step, I'm going to crank the pressure on the main regulator way up to like 50. I'm gonna crank the middle pressure up to like 50 or as high as I can get it. I'm gonna blast that full, then I'm gonna agitate it for five minutes. Okay, our keg is, is pressurized at 50 PSI. I'm gonna agitate it and hook it back up. Here is my plan. I'm gonna put it under my desk and then just rock it back and forth while I'm doing some work. We'll see if that works. been at least five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and I think wipe this thing down, put it back in the kegerator, and um, just pour a beer out and see what it tastes like. All right, kegs in the kegerator. I actually have a line cleaner in here, so I'm gonna have to dump that out first. Let's see, it's this blue stuff. Not at all carved. <laughs> so I'm gonna hit it, I'm gonna hit it with 50 again, agitate it again, probably hit it with 50 again, agitate it again, and then we'll see where we're at. Okay, completed agitation round number two. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, definitely, Definitely has some carbonation in it now. Definitely more than it did. Yeah, I mean, it's lightly carbonated at this point. I feel like if I did this one more time, we'd be all right. I really should go home, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna do it. There we go. Oh yeah, good to go. 50 PSI, agitated. Topped it off again with another 50 PSI, agitated five minutes. Topped it off for a third round at 50 PSI, agitated for another five minutes, bam. One um, shortcut is if you actually press the gas nozzle down really hard on the liquid outpost and you force the CO2 up through the beer, down through the dip tube, and then up through the beer. Um, I feel like that that helps um, helps it absorb into the liquid. You don't really have to agitate it as long. Uh, anyway, this is like this is really good. I'll leave this set overnight, and I'm at normal serving pressure, and I'm, I have a feeling it's going to be perfect tomorrow. Success.